Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Prisons and criminal ratings are very much a thing in Star Citizen now, and you can find yourself locked up in the Klesha Rehab Center on the moon of Aberdeen if you die while you have a high enough criminal rating. Prisons in Star Citizen serve a few purposes. They take criminal players out of circulation for a while if they get captured or killed. They provide a form of justice for players that have been on the wrong end of those players. They provide bounty hunting missions for players to hunt criminals and escapees and give them sort of like a reason to hunt them beyond just the reward. And they add risk and reward to some of the gameplay loops in game. Prisons themselves offer a variety of gameplay as well. While you're inside, you'll need to wait a certain amount of time before you can leave. Though, once you leave, you will have your criminal rating cleared. You could log out for the period of time. I got a three hour sentence for running just one criminal mission though. So um, it is based on the crimes you do and you can have quite long sentences. There are ways to vastly cut down that time though. Mining. Klesha has a vast cave network next to it where you can mine and then deposit your mineables when you re-enter the main prison hub. This gives you merits and knocks time off your sentence. There are very often missions as well that you can take from your Mobiglass to fix the oxygen refill machines in the sort of cave and mining area. Anyone in the prison can take these missions and the first player to complete them gets a whole host of merits and basically it's more merits based on how deep in the cave that you need to go to refill the malfunctioning oxygen machine. Doing these is an incredibly easy way of getting out of prison fast. The mission will tell you what route and the depth uh, of where that oxygen refiller is and then all you've got to do is follow the numbers. The route is literally what main section of the entrance uh, you need to go down and then depth is how far it is in basically how deep you need to go and that's tracked by consecutive numbered areas. You can also transfer merits using the Mobiglass trade app so you could farm merits in the game and then sell them or gift them to friends or your organization or something. I suspect in the future there will be people just farming merits uh, for that very purpose. Also in the uh, mining caves there are supply caches. You might find a shiv that makes you the prison boss. Obviously it might be worth your while to wound or take out players that are trying to do the oxygen refill missions, maybe. Um, obviously, you can still get into more trouble while in prison um, if you're shanking a load of people. There are dispensary machines as well by the cave entrance, and that will allow you to buy equipment and consumables. You'll want to not die in prison if you can, because that can add time to your prison sentence. So you might want to eat, drink, and uh, buy some like medipens. Once you've got enough merits though, or you've spent enough time waiting in prison, you can then go to the inmate processing area and um, leave via the lift there. You'll spawn back at the last major landing zone you visited. The other way to leave prison is to escape. There is a broken fan off the main prison hub area that leads to an escape route of jumping puzzles and twists and turns. You'll want to follow the markers like the blue flowers or arrows to find your way. The first time you do that route, that could take a while, and you might die a lot, but after you've learned the route, you'll be able to escape pretty quickly. There's a security office as well near the top of the escape route that you can look through the window of, and you'll see some codes. Write them down. Those codes allow you to get access to the Urza Rover garages at the top of the facility, hopefully with Urza Rovers still inside. The facility does have turrets and guards, so bear that in mind too, and the atmosphere of Klesha, whether you're in the mining caves trying to escape or on the surface, is not hospitable. You will run out of oxygen after a while. You will you will need to drink, you'll need to eat. So you are sort of like in a race against time if you are trying to escape. The best way to escape, in my opinion, is to have someone waiting with a ship there at the end to evac you. That will help you out to no end because you'll need to hack down your criminal rating after escaping. Once you escaped prison, there are going to be people hunting you. Missions will be generated. You are worth a sweet bounty and players will want to take that. So bear that in mind. And if you die, you'll end up straight back in prison, probably with a hefty additional sentence added. And if you've got someone there that's um, got a crypto key and a ship waiting for you. They can take you to Security Post Korea or a security depot straight away after getting um, evac uh, and then you can hack down your criminal rating quickly. The other thing is, is that 
you will not have access to your normal inventory uh, until you uh, clear your rating or you've uh, left prison normally. So bear that in mind. You've been warned. There is a lot of plans for prison and criminal gameplay coming over the next few patches. So I'll give you what they plan for the shorter term and what they've said. There's going to be the ability to earn more merits from other missions and give function to the boxing ring that's at Klesha. So you'll be able to fight people to potentially get merits from them or bet on that sort of stuff. They are looking at potential community service options for players instead of going to prison if they've only got a few infractions, things like that. Maybe they'll have to do some missions or clean up uh, mop stuff, refill uh, machines or something um, if they don't want to go to prison, something like that. Uh, players will be able to surrender to security and bounty hunters without dying in the future as well. They are going to have different ways to escape from the prison and there's going to be some planning and dynamic elements involved with this so it's not going to be the same every time. You might have to avoid guards, steal codes and plan a lot more and not know exactly um, what method of escape you're going to be using until you're using it. Um, so it's not going to, as I said, be the same every time. They want to add more missions inside prisons as well. You might have a mission to break someone out or to take someone out or even smuggle something out of prison. Um, so there's going to be a lot of gameplay associated with that in the future. Prisons are a big step towards deeper risk and reward for the game, a much more rich criminality system, and prisons allow them to deal with criminality much better in the system, literally punishing certain player behaviours with now you're going in prison for three hours um, or you've got to escape. It takes them out of the game for a little while, which can be great. If people are pad ramming or something, you get them a fine and you chuck them in prison for a while. Great. No more pad ramming, for, at least for a while. What am I shilling for today, I hear you ask? Do you hate it when people steal all of your money and your house over the internet? I know I do. NordVPN may have been invented by wizards to help protect your personal data from the prying eyes of the dark web, a sinister cabal of technomancers that grow in power the more they know about your browsing habits. The true story of NordVPN's origins are unknown and lost to the ages, and without using facts. No one really knows how it provides more accessibility to otherwise censored websites or a safer security experience for all that use it. All I know is that it does and that when you sign up to it, the power level of my bank account grows and I use it and maybe you should too. Every month we have a giveaway for a Star Citizen ship for this month of September. It's for the Talon Night Fighter, the Battlebird Glass Cannon. Just comment on any of my videos made during September 2020 to be in for a chance of winning that. That ship should be flyable by the end of the year. If you'd like to further support the channel, there is Patreon or YouTube channel memberships via the join button down below. That will net you some exclusive content each month, but sharing videos, liking, subscribing, dinging the bell, as well as commenting and giving feedback really does help the channel to grow and give me an idea of what you guys want. Thanks very much for watching. You take care and I'll see you in the verse.